contain. And then admit. So we'll start in uh, like two, three minutes, okay, Alejandro? Yeah, in one minute. people to jump on. Hello, Scott. Great to see you. Hello, Alejandro. Hey, Alan. How's it going today, man? Real good. How about you? Oh, living the dream, man. <laughs> glad, glad it's not snowing in my city yet. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah. But it's starting to snow there, right, Alan? Uh, yeah, it is uh, slowly. Unfortunately, for a guy who hates winter, <laughs> I live in a country or place that has winter four months, five months of the year. So, got to work yeah. on that. Hello, Joe. Great to see you. Hi, John. Hello, I just unmuted myself. Yes, appreciate that very much. How are you today? I'm great. How are you guys doing? Good, good. Nice well, to meet you. All. Ready to go here. Yeah. Where, hey, so, where are you based, John? What are you doing? The what in the US are you, John, again? John? What? Where are you in the US again? Uh, in Michigan. Michigan. I turn up my volume. There you go. Great. Perfect. Well, I think we should get going here because we got a time schedule to meet and if people jump on, I'll just let them in. So I want to welcome all of you to the Strategic Marketing Mastery, getting the most out of LinkedIn and overall marketing in your 2021, 2022. Uh, we're going to give you some great information today. Uh, one of the biggest things Alejandro and I uh, notice when people, we do these kind of things together, is that people don't take notes soon enough. So get a piece of paper and a pen or a pad of paper and a pen, start taking notes right away. Uh, we will be taking Q&A at the very, very end. So do me a favor, write down your questions. We'll be very, very happy to answer them for you at the very, very end. Right, Alejandro? Yes, really happy there you go. to help. <laughs> So, you know, so why are we qualified to teach you? Well, Alejandro, you can talk about yourself for a few seconds and I'll talk about myself for a few seconds, give some people some context. Go ahead, buddy. Okay, uh, well, I have been doing this uh, for a while. Uh, I started to think like I, I did it just uh, for a couple of years, but uh, the reality that, that I have been doing this for more than 20 years, uh, I have two master degrees, I have a, uh, for coaching uh, certifications. Uh, and I have been working in more than 15 countries. Uh, so it's this is part of uh, who I am, uh, helping uh, companies and people to grow their business, uh, to know where are the, the blockages, uh, the things that are stopping them to grow. Uh, so that's, that's who I am and, and what I do. Cool. And for myself, uh, I just actually found out how to, how to find how long you've been on LinkedIn for. And I actually joined LinkedIn in June of 2006. So I've been on there a long, long time. Uh, LinkedIn started in 2003. So I joined a couple of years later, about two and a half years later. Uh, since then, I've run my own LinkedIn lead generation agency since 2012. And uh, yeah, it's been going great guns ever since. So. LinkedIn is the only platform I use for lead generation or social media. Uh, I'm on Facebook, but I never really use it for social media. I might niche into YouTube later on. Someone told me I should in my uh, elite mastermind. And that's also me also. Uh, you're gonna get in the information from me, me today about LinkedIn because I belong to an elite uh, LinkedIn mastermind that actually speaks to LinkedIn every single week and brings information back to us. So once again, if you have any questions at all at the very, very end, be happy to answer them for you. And let's go, get into it. So go, okay. go ahead. Yes. Okay. So uh, first, the, the most important thing with this is uh, when, uh, what I like to work with people is uh, in regards of marketing is uh, with the Pareto principle. I don't know if you are familiar with that, but it's exactly about the 2080 formula. If you focus on the 20% of the things uh, that are really creating the 80% of the revenue <laughs> in your business, so you are going to have more impact. 
sometimes we are focusing in the 80 percent of the things and that's why we are very busy and we are not getting the momentum that we really want so this comes uh, from this five-step formula it's about creating more leads more conversions more transactions higher pricing and more profits those are the five areas that uh, I focus to have momentum quicker uh, at the beginning. And from there, we can start to focus a little bit more on each area. So to do that, uh, I want to give you some examples here. So uh, go, the, yeah. We have a, a company that is generating 1,000 uh, leads per year at a rate of 25% of conversion. That means that they have 250 customers. If they are making 10 transactions at an average price of $100, that means that that company is making 250K. Uh, with 25% of profit, that, that means that they are doing 62K. That's the baseline of this company. And if we start to think like, okay, how I can get another, like double my profit, because that's why I, I have a company because I want to double the profit. Then maybe if we start to look at, okay, double the leads to 2000, maybe it's going to be difficult. If I want to hire pricing, only doing that is going to be like 200. It's maybe it's going, you're going to lose too many customers. Then the idea behind this is like you can be working in these five areas at the same time and you are going to notice uh, what is the increment with this and just by 10 percent i am not talking about too much <laughs> and here you can see that the total revenue goes to 365 and you almost double your profit to 100k and if we work a little bit more uh, with this 50 percent increase in the five areas uh, Put the next one, Alan. Yeah, you have a, a control also. I made you co-host. You should be able to click on the slides also yourself. Okay. Um, okay, then with the 50, and that's where I enter <laughs> uh, as a business coach, business strategist, is exactly to help you with the strategies in these five areas, how you can increase to 50%, and, and if you see the numbers, it's not crazy. I am not talking about 200% on each of these areas, but just 50%. You are going to notice that the, the total revenue of this company is going to become 1.2 million and the profit is going to be half a million. And the idea here is you have to be thinking about doing the compounding effect of working on these five areas at the same time and working with the right strategies for your business. And if I may give you everybody a little bit of context, because I know Alejandro's business very well, because I've gone through this. He has a system where he analyzes all the key points of your business and puts that information in. And then he figures out, 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 out the ways with you to increase each one of these, like increase how to get more leads, how to get more conversions from leads. So, you know, he analyzes your entire business with you and then goes through each part and figures out how to get a higher percentage of customers, leads, or maybe increase your prices or profits. So that's a little bit of context on there. Yeah, thank you, Anna. Yeah. So once again, just talking about a little bit more of the more leads and more conversions. Let's go to the next one. Uh, so sometimes we are like thinking, okay, I don't like marketing or I like it, but not that much. Uh, so the first thing that we have to be thinking, it's like, okay, we need to have marketing. We are doing that. Everything is marketing right now in, in this world. And we need to understand what is uh, in the, behind the prospect, our prospect uh, mind. And, and that's only two major points. <laughs> the next one. What is the problem that they have, our prospects, and they don't want? And what is the result that they want, but they don't have? If you start to focus on those two areas, you're go go going to notice, okay, <laughs> finally, I can, I can work uh, with my customers. And to do that, I what I use is this conversion equation, and, and it's very simple, but uh, you have to focus on the four areas. 
Some people is very good at working with the interrupt. Some people is good with the engaging or the educating or the offer. But the reality is that you have to use uh, four of them to really have this uh, formula to work. And the idea is interrupt is your headline, engage is your sub headline, educate is the information that you are giving to people and the offer is something that has to be so compelling that people is really wanted to do that. This is key when we start to understand how is marketing I, I don't know, I think that you, you may know very well that right now we are, we are being saturated in every social media. Uh, if we are outside everywhere where we are, there is information about something that maybe we want or we don't want to <laughs> at the same time. And the idea here is to understand how it works in the mindset and in the, in the people that we are working with. And, and it's, Right now, uh, according to studies, it takes between 20 to 100 touch points before any prospect decides to buy something. And the idea with, behind the conversion equation, because you are talking directly to the mindset and the mind to the other people, then you can have these touch points to five to 12 points of contact. And that this is really key in, in our business. Next. So uh, what we need to understand is buyer journey. And what, what I'm talking about here with the marketing is, okay, there is people that is now buyers that really need the, uh, the product that you have, the service that you have, they really need it like right now. Uh, and, and sometimes we are like struggling. I don't understand why I am not getting enough customers, why I don't have this uh, flow of customers coming to our business. Uh, and the reality is that we are always focusing on the people that is like, okay, Alan, I need you to buy it like right now. If you yeah. are not buying right now, then you are not my customer. Let's try with Scott. If you don't want it, let's try with John. <laughs> and in the, the reality is that that's less than 1% of the customers. The all, all the other 99% is people that is like, okay, let's see what Alan and Alejandro is teaching today. What are yeah. the things that they want to do? Uh, why should I buy something from LinkedIn? Why should I understand about uh, marketing and new strategies? Why shouldn't I do that? <laughs> you know, that's yeah. the, the journey that we are always trying to do. And I want to give you some example here. So this is a doctor. This is a normal page. Uh, I, I always say sometimes like, okay, this is me <laughs> because I am putting here, this doctor has like 10 uh, areas where he's uh, specialized. And, and what I am doing always is like, okay, I want to tell you like, okay, these are all my degrees. Okay, I, am an, I have an MBA, I have a master degree in finance. I have four uh, certifications. I have like 15 years working in different countries. I, you know, like all these things that I can tell you, but you can tell me like, that's awesome, Alejandro, great, great for you. That was a great life, but I don't know how that can help me. <laughs> exactly. So the idea is to understand the mind behind my customer. And if I am talking about only my degrees, you are going to be like, great, I knew a person that has a lot of degrees. <laughs> he has a pedigree. That's awesome. But <laughs> I need somebody that understands uh, my problems. And this example of this doctor, even when in the, in the others, like he was telling, he's specialized in 10 things. In this one, for example, I have two kids. I have two little ones, one of four years, and the other one is one and a half. And really sometimes I am tired of yelling them because they are not really doing what I am asking them. <laughs> and it's not the whole day. It's not that I feel that they have some problem right now or they are feeling something and, or they have some behavioral problems. But sometimes I don't know how to manage them because they are tired, because they, are, they have different things. So I, if I see this uh, headline, this is the 
they interrupt. Are you sick and tired of yelling and screaming and the belligerent attitude of your child? The engaged part is now you can discover the secrets to controlling your child and instantly restore peace and quiet in your home. Now he's talking to me, okay, now there are some secrets that I can implement in my house, then I don't have these problems. Do you feel that I'm going to put my name and my email here? What do you think? Yeah, of course, yeah. So that's very easy to do. So coming from a free consultation to the next one, to just putting my email here, then it becomes something easy for you. Then you can start to learn from me if I am really the right person for you to help you with the problem that you have. Next one. So in this page, I am not working with him with more leads. I am working with him how to convert them to have more customers. So what he had was 300 leads per month. He had only 30 of those were calling for a consultation. And from them, only three decided, okay, I want to go to a consultation with you. That means that three were like the 1% that I was talking about in the marketing. And here, what we are talking about is when we change to this page, he went with the same list because we didn't change anything there. But for, with the same list, he started to have double the request offer because double of the people, 60, decided to, to sign and put their email. Six of them decided, okay, I need, a, I need to work with you. I want to work with you. That means if we have an average price of $800 for this doctor uh, to implement, that means that he's making $2,400 per month increase. That's 28,000 uh, increase in annual revenue. Only by doing that. So I don't know if you have any questions or, or comments on that. I I will open quickly. Yeah, if you want to mute yourself for a second or put any questions in the chat box, Alejandro will quickly answer them for you. Okay, let's move on. Okay, and because I know that uh, I I know that we have yeah the previous one yeah. I, we have different people uh, from different backgrounds. Uh, what I want to give you also is some other ideas that can help you in your business. Uh, so I know, I don't know if you know some, there is a lot of people that knows about Young Ventures, but are, are not really sure of what is the impact in their business and how they can grow in their business because of that. So joint venture is something that is really powerful if you know how to do it. Uh, and the idea is to understand how you are going to have somebody that is going to refer to you and how you can refer to others. So uh, what I'm going to teach you here for me is like help you to open your mind really amazingly because it's going to help you to see the power of that and how you can do it. So look at the next example, please. Uh, let's think about a florist. This is a person that can be saying, okay, I, I sell flowers. Everybody needs flowers. My wife needs, needs flowers. My mom, my kids, everybody loves flowers. Uh, I need flowers to go for a funeral. I need flowers to go for a wedding. But uh, what I asked these uh, people was, okay, decide. Who is the, per, the people that you really want to work with? You want to work with, with teenagers? You, you want to work with, with whom? And they, they say, okay, my best customers are weddings. Why? Because everything is nice in a wedding. Uh, I can sell 1,000 flowers in one shot, in one event. I can start to do a... I do all the business, everybody is happy, everybody is in love, all the things that happens in, in that wedding. So what we did with them is let's create an event change of vendors, of people that works on that industry. So if you see it here, I am going to create this event chain. It's like, okay, for every uh, Marriage, you need a jeweler that is going to give you the engagement ring. There is a wedding planner, a church, a reception venue, a wedding, a florist, a wedding cake, a printer. So all these people, and even if we start to 
like what talk here, you, we are going to find like another five or 10 more areas that we can uh, implement. So all the people that is above this florist here in this example is people that can refer to you. And if you go to this jeweler and tell them, okay, I want to join venture with you because I sell flowers, they're going to say like, okay, you are crazy. <laughs> I, I am not selling flowers here. But at the same time, if you offer them, okay, you are going to gain some percentage of this. And I am not your competition, really. Just, I am just a person that you are selling your jewels. I am not going to sell that anywhere, anytime. I just want to have the people that is buying those uh, wedding rings with you and send it to me and you refer it to them to me. And suddenly it's like you have like a lot of people that is referring to you uh, as a florist. And the people that is below me, the wedding cake, the printer is people that you can refer to them. So you join venture with other people like them and then you can start to uh, send them some referrals. Uh, so uh, the idea, next one. Yeah. Is if we are selling the flowers, the wedding flowers, it's three thousand uh, dollars for one event. That means that just a single referral each month of the, each of these people that is above the jeweler, the wedding, the church, all these guys are sending you just one people person each month you are going to be making thirty six thousand dollars extra extra yeah so imagine and a single referral to the wedding cake for example is going to be 36 if you are doing just one referral and you know the power of doing this type of joint ventures is not going to send you just one they are going to send you 10, 20, 30, I don't know, <laughs> a lot of people. So suddenly you have like a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, show the next one. And from the printing, it's maybe they are printing well, 1,000. That means that it's another 1,200 free money. You, The only thing that you did was, you know, I know a, a person, that, a company that is doing this and is going to sell you the best wedding cake that you need in that is in town right now or the printer that is that you really need and suddenly you have out of this chain of of uh, joint ventures you have 41k yeah it's uh it's pretty amazing what joint ventures can do as far as getting more referrals most companies don't don't niche into or uh you know do anything with joint ventures at all and they really should yeah okay well, that's fantastic. Thank you, Alejandro. Uh, once again, if you have any questions about that, and what he's talking about also is putting systems into place through that software of his, like a drip drip email campaign and staying top of mind with people. So I know how Alejandro's business works. Now we're gonna talk a little about LinkedIn here. So, uh, you know, in the chat box, just type a yes or no why you're in. How many of you think you're using LinkedIn properly for uh, marketing and lead generation? Just type, uh, type a N or yes or no in the chat box. YRN, and uh, let me know what's happening so I can get a little little feel for the crowd here. Come on, guys, in the chat box, just type in YRN if you if you think you're using or maximizing LinkedIn. No one wants to put it in the chat box here. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, you know, for most people, oh, here we go. Yeah. I know I'm yeah. not. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you much. Appreciate that. And yeah, most people say no. There you go. Um, so time. yeah, the LinkedIn, I think is that one of the best, uh, uh, still underrated, underlooked, underutilized lead generation sources out there. It was launched in 2003 by Reed Hoffman and Alan Blue and then acquired for $26 billion in 2016. Imagine being in business 13 years only and having a company buy you over $26 billion. That's pretty cool. Uh, 880 million people plus as of September 2021. A lot of people in North America, USA, Canada are using LinkedIn. Um, and LinkedIn has a higher buyer uh, worth as far as it's the one of the most social media sites that probably has the uh, highest 
uh, net worth of the, of the people on it over Facebook or uh, Twitter or any other type of uh, uh, social media program. LinkedIn, LinkedIn is it. And, and people on LinkedIn, I think personally, are there for business. When you join LinkedIn or you're on LinkedIn, I think there's a unwritten understanding that you're there to do business people. Uh, you know, but most people don't have the, what it needs to do LinkedIn lead generation or marketing properly. Their LinkedIn profile page is, you know, not completed, no banner, type crappy headshot. You know, as your LinkedIn profile should be more than just a business card, right? Uh, you can stand out from the crowd, create engaging content, which I'm doing now. I'm really concentrating on the engaging content part. Show up your successes, promote your events, build a following, and great you know, leads, one to you know, five leads every single week from LinkedIn, plus even sometimes. I've seen people get 30, 40 leads a week, and they're overburdened with leads on LinkedIn. So you know, it, I, I think personally, LinkedIn has given me the choice in my life who I want to work with. And, you know, when people go to LinkedIn and go to the, um, um, what do you call it? the uh, over here on LinkedIn, which is my network page, a lot of people will decide whether or not to accept your connection request, let's say from Paul Newman or uh, Alamin Islam. Uh, you know, whether or not to accept your connection request right from here. So it's super, super important that you have a really, really well done profile. Because if no one, obviously, if no one accepts your connection request, then people aren't, nothing else happens afterwards, right? So it's super, super important that you have an amazing headshot. You're smiling. Paul smiling over here looks pretty good. I might change the background. I definitely changed the uh, cover banner on here to answer you know, the questions of who are you? What do you do? Why should I use your services, right? So, uh, you know, it's so, so important to have those things on LinkedIn. Unfortunately, most people don't, don't have them, especially a good cover banner. Here are some cover banner examples. Um, and, you know, it just says to me, when you don't have a cover banner or your cover banner isn't very good, that I, I've had people tell me they don't trust that person as much. So when you have a really amazing cover banner and a really amazing uh, profile headshot, it just looks more professional. And the whole idea is how do I look more professional so that people um, will uh, you know, trust me even before uh, they come to the, the, the Zoom call with me, right? So you go to my profile and look at my cover banner, have a little thing over here. And by the way, uh, that little thing there, which is the um, uh, little video of you playing, uh, especially on mobile, and also this here. Hi, I'm Alan Fine from LinkedIn Leads, and I can get you a never-ending stream of leads from LinkedIn. People always ask me, well, how do you get those cool things? It's all done through the mobile device. So on desktop, you can add them, but if you go to your profile on LinkedIn on your mobile device, your phone or your tablet, those things, that's where, that's where it is there. So let's see if there's any new questions over here. Um, initiated by them, most customers have track government leaders around the world. Yeah, so you know, John had John typed in the chat box there. You know, LinkedIn can be LinkedIn's global and can be used for talking to people all around the world. That's why I think LinkedIn is so amazing because you can talk to people in uh, the US. For me, I'm in Canada, talk to people in the USA, people in the USA talk to people in UK or anywhere in the world, really. So, so you know, it's an international uh, interface that I stop using everything else as far as like, um, you know, Facebook ads or SEO. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys know what SEO is. I did a, 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 a video on LinkedIn SEO, but SEO stands for search engine optimization, getting your website on page one of Google, which is fantastic, but Google changes the rules like four times a month. And so, you know, with LinkedIn, it's become a much more stable environment for me personally to be on for lead generation and marketing. For Quickly, your Alan, picture, I, yep. ask, Scott has a question here. What is it that you can only find on a mobile device? A mobile the device? Video, yeah, the video, you're, you're the video and the other Yeah, the video and the other part here. So a mobile device is where you put this little icon, uh, um, speaker icon. It's supposed to be for how you pronounce your name, but I've taken the 10 seconds it gives me, the little, little intro and marketing message, as well as this thing over here, 
for your profile picture will change into a video for a few seconds uh, if you have it done and it's all done through your mobile device. So headshot, smiling, professional. If you run a business, fantastic. You know, do that, do, do a suit and tie. If you run a, a, uh, a resort in Mexico and you wanna be wearing a Hawaiian shirt with a Mai Tai in your hand, fantastic. It's all appropriate for who you are and what you do. Uh, your LinkedIn profile should be optimized 100%. Um, and LinkedIn actually tells you that if you scroll down on your profile, right around your dashboard and your open to work providing services, if your LinkedIn profile isn't 100% complete, they will tell you how complete it is and they will tell you what you need to add to your profile to make it 100% complete. And uh, people who have a 100% complete uh, profile on LinkedIn show up more in search appearances. Here we are in search appearances right here. You can click on that and it tells me, um, I showed up on people's search appearances on page one, uh, 1,618 times between September 28th and October 5th. So it really, really gives you some interesting stats to go for and go through. Uh, LinkedIn headline. Uh, your headline should be communicating the four things everybody wants to know from your profile, which is who are you? What do you do? What can you do for me? And why should I use your services as opposed to the hundreds or thousands of other people on LinkedIn who do exactly the same thing you do? So your headline is this part over here on LinkedIn. Right here. So between your headline and your about section on LinkedIn, which is over here. Where my about section go to, here it is, about. Those things should be answering those four questions as well as for the LinkedIn SEO, which stands for search engine optimization, you want to put a smattering of phrases and words in there of what you think your prospects, your target market will be searching for on let's say Google. So if I always want to be a uh, LinkedIn lead generation expert, I will put that in my about section and put that as the first key phrase in my title. So the first key phrase you have in your title or the first couple of words in your title are the most important ones. What do you want to be found for? That should be the first thing out, out of the gate there. As you can see from my title, here it is again. Here's an example of that. Uh, I help businesses create engaging content for social media that brings tension leads without breaking the bank or sucking up too much time. Also direct message me about her services, LinkedIn trainer, video marketing, top of funnel. So those are things she wanna be, wants to be found on, on LinkedIn. And she's a great coach, by the way. What your LinkedIn headline uh, should do is the key phrases, as well as don't make it over complicated. I've run into several people who have put those phrases into the, uh, you know, the, um, a profile headline or the about section, I'm going, I have no idea what you're talking about. So make sure that your, uh, you know, your phrases or what you have in there isn't overly complicated because, uh, you know, for instance, I, I, you know, I'm in Alberta and Alberta has a huge oil and gas population, excuse me. And some of these multi, multi-millionaire oil and gas guys, they only have a high school education, but they were, went into oil and gas very early age and did very well for themselves. So it's very, very important that you don't overcomplicate things. Your about section, once again, which is over here, has a possibility of up to 2,000 characters. Um, make sure you show some personality over here. Make sure you show some, you know, your website. Uh, how many people or how many of you just put a yes or no in the chat box again? I've gone to someone's profile on LinkedIn, liked what you saw, click on the contact info, and there's nothing there. Like there's no phone number, there's no website, or the website they have, uh, you know, uh, is old and doesn't work anymore, is outdated. So for you all on here, ha is all the information on your contact info up to date? Usually it's not, make sure it is though, because nothing's more frustrating than to want to buy from somebody and want to, um, you know, do, the, do something with somebody and the contact info doesn't take you anywhere at all. 
You know, we've all had that before in the past, right? Do, 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 do. Uh, so it should be more than just a resume. Uh, you want to make sure that you answer those four questions once again. Uh, what not to do with your summary is not about a job description. Also, make sure that your headline and your about section talks about the benefits of working with you, not just the features. Features are, we've been in business 25 years, all the degrees that Alejandro rattled off uh, to you in the very, very beginning. Um, but you really should answer, what can you do for me? And unfortunately, uh, in most people's about section and headline is, who am I? Right? So what are the pain points of the people that you are looking for for clients? What do you hear of people on a regular basis who talk to you, who hire you, why do they come to you? And most people hear this uh, from their current clients or possible clients, thank God I found you Alejandro, or thank God I found you Scott or John. Um, you know, I had this problem beforehand that you solved it for me write those things down on paper and find some way to sneak them into your uh, headline and summary. So once again, all those different things, uh, what is their pain point, bring the value, problems they have and how you solve them, right? How you solve them. Here's some examples of before and after pictures of people's profiles. You can find that on my website. There we go over here. You can go on the profile makeover section over here and you can see people's profiles I've made over and once again it's really really important you have this done properly here's a before picture after picture before picture after picture and so that barrier and threshold people come to you with sometimes with credibility is like, you know, how many of us have ever had people, uh, you know, ask us for references after we've done a phenomenal presentation for them? Well, I don't tell people about references anymore. I tell people, go to my profile on LinkedIn and don't believe me, believe these 103 people who are talking about me. So recommendations are very, very important. I'll show you another slide here, but recommendations are very, very important. I want to knock people over the head with so many recommendations. I want to have thousands eventually that people go, wow, wow, that's, that's amazing. Looking at what you have here. And so my goal, you know, in LinkedIn and my life is always trying to be help people out because I've been where many of you are right now. I've been there where I'm going, well, how do I get more leads? How do you do this over here? How do you do that over here? And we all know also LinkedIn, how confusing is LinkedIn, right? LinkedIn is so confusing sometimes. You know, I went to look up that thing uh, when I joined on LinkedIn. It took me like half an hour to find it on LinkedIn's website and on Google. So, you know, the great thing about having someone like myself in your back pocket or Alejandro in your back pocket to talk about is we can answer questions for you so you're not spending that time for yourself searching for answers on Google or on LinkedIn and going to a LinkedIn interior page where even on LinkedIn the answer is wrong because they changed something but they haven't dated, updated their own interior page. It's very, very, very important. So here's some examples, some great uh, profile headlines and some great profile information. I'll pop this into the chat box for you right now so you can look at it and you can go to it if you want to. Another thing people don't do enough of, and I'm actually working on my next video about content marketing. So content marketing, including video, is the rich media you have on your profile. You go to two different people's profiles. One has tons of rich media content like video, right? Here's that, here's that post I just did on finding out where it is on LinkedIn, right? And all you do here is go to, um, let's see here, there it goes. I'll pop this into the uh, chat box. So my mouse is like bouncing around everywhere, I don't know why. There it goes here. Okay, so there's the chat box also, chat, and there you go. So yeah, so, you know, very, very important that you have this kind of information. Also for content marketing on, um, on LinkedIn, uh, are, are people engaging with your posts? Are people engaging with your content? So on this one over here, I have uh, 70 likes, 59 comments, 
and almost 3,000 views of my post in the feed. So, you know, uh, the way the LinkedIn algorithm works, and this comes from my elite mastermind, is LinkedIn off the bat, when you first start doing content marketing, will show your first connections or show 10% of your first connections, your content. If you get engagement within the first 60 minutes of posting your content, next time LinkedIn will show it to 20% of your first connections. And it keeps on going up or going down depending on the engagement you get. And unfortunately, we go to the homepage on LinkedIn and look at people's engagement. Most people aren't getting a lot of engagement. Here's an elephant walking down the street on the thing here with, for this guy, Philip, right? And no likes, no comments. Here's another person. Four likes, two comments. Another person over here. Oh, here's a great one. This guy, Simon Sinek. I've seen him. I follow him. He gets tons of engagement because he has tons of uh, followers here. 23,000 likes, 604 uh, comments on his posts. So the whole idea for doing content marketing on LinkedIn is to build a massive following for inbound lead generation or marketing. What do I mean by that? Uh, messaging people on LinkedIn through the messaging interface, the, the uh, messaging thing here in the feed. Um, this is all, this is outbound marketing, okay? People coming to me and sending me a message or following me, that's inbound marketing. And the whole idea is how do you create a massive following on LinkedIn of hundreds of thousands of people eventually, uh, I know the person who, that Shay Raw Bottom person now has over almost 700,000 followers on LinkedIn. Other people who taught me my uh, video creation course have hundreds of thousands of, of, of followers on LinkedIn. And so, so important. In fact, LinkedIn even tells you how well you're doing by using this little link over here. It's your SSI uh, score, your social selling index score. And here I'll pop this in the chat box. And you can go to this link you're looking for a score of 80 or above for having a good score. Uh, this is actually more a tool to get you to buy Sales Navigator because if you end up clicking on any of these links over here where it says establish your personal brand, find the right people, engage with insights, and build um, relationships, those will go to a Sales Navigator page. But this is also good for you. A way to increase your SSI score is by sharing other people's content and commenting on it. So that's a little thing from my elite mastermind I belong to, is if you do a lot of sharing and commenting and liking other people's content, your SSI score will go up, which is a little interesting little tidbit there. Uh, articles and posts. So how often should you post or do content marketing? I like to do at least two or three posts a week and one video a week. And I said beforehand, I'm working on my next video here on why it's so important to do content marketing on LinkedIn, as well as another little tidbit about LinkedIn. 75% of people watch videos on LinkedIn with no sound. So it's so, so important that when you do uh, marketing or content marketing on LinkedIn and create those really cool videos that you see on people's um, profiles, like my profile here, go to one of my videos here, I'll show you. Um, this one here. So here are the captions. Back. Uh, you know what? No one is gonna accept your connection quest on LinkedIn unless your profile looks absolutely amazing. Accepting your connection. So it's so, so important. And like I said, you know, it, people need to be able to see your content and consume your content so that LinkedIn um, rolls out more of your content to eventually your second and third connections. And then people always ask me, well, what was the difference between first, second, and third? So if you are my direct connection on LinkedIn and you'll see like, for instance, this person, Debbie King, you can see the number one, it says first over here, she's my direct connection. All her first connections that she has for herself that I'm not connected to, those are my second connections. And all their second connections are my third connections. So you want to be able to have your content roll out eventually to your first, second, and third connections because you're in a dogfight with everybody to get eyeballs on your content. Where? In the feed. Okay? So once again, it is you know, very so important to you know, have this done properly here that when you do post your content, people, to me, people engage with it. Very, very important.
Uh, content marketing is one of the most unrated and important things in 2021. Once again, to build a inbound marketing funnel. So here is another person I've been following for many, many years, uh, Bridget Hysienth. Uh, and she now has, I think, 4 million followers on LinkedIn. And all she did is over time, create engaging posts and engaging articles on LinkedIn and engaging in videos on LinkedIn to bring people to her uh, profile, where now she is a international speaker on human resources. She writes uh, articles and posts about people uh, in leadership roles who don't do the right things for hiring and firing people. In fact, I remember one very, very impactful post of hers. I, I remember this because she got like huge engagement on it. A person was applying for a, a job interview. Uh, it was raining outside. They came half an hour late. She was there at the office monitoring the hiring process. And the person who was doing the interviewing was saying, this person came an hour late or half an hour late and they're soaking wet. I'm sending them home. And she says, no, 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 wait a minute. She, she did this for the video and the, the copy in the post here. This person ran through the rain. Ask them what happened. So the person's car conked out and they ran the whole way there. If that isn't, you know, what you were looking for, an employee who is, you know, going to go after that job with gusto, I don't know what is. They ended up hiring the person and they said it was the best decision they ever made. What a phenomenal employee, right? But those heartfelt stories. So on LinkedIn, are you telling stories more than just about buy my services and buy my business? You should be telling stories about your struggles in business, about like I did a video for myself, how I broke my leg in October uh, of last year, it's been almost a year now, and I didn't understand it was broken or didn't get that it was broken for almost two and a half months. And once I did one for my surgery in January of 2021, I was so thankful for my family who was there for me. They did all my chores and everything else they normally did. They actually realized finally how much I do, how much, how, how your, your family doesn't realize how much you do in, the, in, your, in your family life or your household. Well, break your leg and be on the couch for a month and they'll see how much you do, right? Uh, your experiences on LinkedIn, which is over here. Do, 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 do. All my experiences right? Do your experiences bolster or reinforce or support what you're doing now? If they don't, get rid of them. I had one client, a story of one client who was a, you know, good photographer, a great photographer, in fact, and he wanted to transfer out of photography into a financial, being a financial advisor. We basically had to strip all the photography stuff except for one little experience at the very, very bottom. Uh, why? Because people want to hire the girl or the guy or the expert in the field. And if you have conflicting things in your profile that make no sense at all, like, are you an expert photographer? Or are you an expert, uh, you know, um, uh, financial advisor? I want to hire the best financial advisor and having that photography thing kind of, I don't know, kind of makes me think you're not, you know, your, your focus isn't on financial advisor, it's on photography. So make a long story short, you know, do your experiences uh, on LinkedIn, reinforce what you're doing now. And have you created a company page on LinkedIn? Many people have this little thing over here where they show their company, but it's uh, grayed out. Like this over here, train the trainer, blow it, has that little LinkedIn bubble logo, which means you either have an either A, created a company page, and here's how you do it. You can click on work and go clear, create a company page at the very, very bottom here. And so they either A, haven't created a company page or B, they haven't properly connected the company page to their top experience over here. All you do is go here to this. And once you've created a company page that has a uh, colored logo on it, you just put your company name in here. And as you start typing it in, you'll find your company page will pop up. You click onto it and then you save it afterwards. Very, very important. Uh, and people always, always ask me also, should I be posting my content on my company page, like how important my company page? Um, for most people, I would say their company page is not that important, other than the fact of, well, I hope you have a company page on LinkedIn. Like I hope you have a website, uh, right? For professionalism, having all your eyes taught crossed, uh, uh, eyes dotted and T's crossed, very, very important. Uh, so your business is professional experience, 
uh, you know, once again, making sure everything's done properly and everything's filled out properly. Here's some samples of mine, right? And then also the next thing a lot of people aren't using is the LinkedIn event platform. So how many of you by typing a yes or no in the chat box have done any kind of event and promoted it through LinkedIn? So many of you haven't probably. Uh, the only thing about LinkedIn's event platform that I find I don't like personally is the fact that you can't deliver content through it. So what I used to do beforehand is have my event created and then here where it says join here, have my Zoom sign up page. And the disconnect was that people didn't do that at all. So now I only put the link onto the join here part, the actual Zoom link, because I found that most people never went that second step on their own and filled out that information as far as um, registering a second time on LinkedIn. Let's see here. Perfect. Uh, so uh, LinkedIn event platform, how do you create an event on LinkedIn? All you do is go to the homepage on LinkedIn, which is over here. Homepage, LinkedIn, little button over here says events and click on the plus button and then you create your own event. You have a cover a banner, you have the uh, logo over here. Also, if you create a company page or create a uh, event on LinkedIn and you have your company page or your company presenting it, you can click on the little button and it says download register, register details or people who registered for the event. LinkedIn will give you their email addresses and their names. And so hopefully many of you received several emails from me, just reminding you about the event over here, reminding you uh, with a Zoom link, here it is, here's what's happening. Because we all know that many people, when they create company or, or event pages on LinkedIn and create a new event, the people who are signing up, just click on the event from the My Network page over here and never add the event to their own calendar. So, you know, I created strategies around that to help people with their events on LinkedIn. And then once again, the last thing is the hottest thing on LinkedIn in 2021 and 2022 is video creation. You're not using LinkedIn event platform and it's costing you money. The link. So, you know, all the different things here. Hey, it's Alan Finding here again with a great idea for your trade show. Trade. So, videos help 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 i think communicate more of your personality and who you are and you can put a lot more of you inside a video that's why all my videos i speak in my videos because when once again people come to my profile on linkedin when i'm doing lead generation or marketing which all of you should be doing when they come to me so many people tell me i've been watching your videos i feel like i know you already and so between my videos, my recommendations, and having a great profile on LinkedIn, when they come to me, that barrier threshold to accountability and trust, I've already done what I feel is a lot to help people really trust no one like me. So very, very, very important. You're doing the same thing here. So a lot of people are saying, how can you help us? So Alejandro and I created a very, very low cost, uh, you know, um, a barrier to entry. Uh, I'm going to do a LinkedIn profile audit on Zoom. Uh, I'm going to record the session for you. I'm going to also create a really killer custom new banner. $149. That's it. And for Alejandro, what are you going to do, buddy? It's it's creating the roadmap for for success and and growth in your business. It's exactly for your business. It's not a for example, I, when I was presenting today, I was presenting some of the things that I was doing for other companies, but for you exactly, how are you in your business and your numbers and everything? I already put that. Yeah. Okay, great. Awesome, man. So let's open up the uh, Q&A now to questions you might have. Either type them in the um, uh, chat box or just unmute yourself and ask them again. And who has questions for us now? Love to hear, love to hear from you. Carlos, Scott, and Joanne, Jenna. Thank, thank you guys for the presentation. It was pretty good. So I could, a quick question for you, Alan. Yeah. In, in terms of uh, you, you went a little bit 
faster in that way. I know yep. because of time, but in terms of business profile, what, what do you say before? As far as your personal profile or your, you mean your company page? No, no, no. You say like, uh, like it's good. It's, it doesn't matter that you, you don't put uh, more experience that you have in other areas, just the one that you want to focus. Yeah, so you, want to, you don't want to confuse people at all. So what do you do, Carlos? Uh, I work for pharma medical devices companies. Okay. What did you do beforehand? Before that, I worked for uh, like a Hertz car rental company. And before that, to Diageo, the largest alcohol premium brand in the, in, in the world. Yeah. So thinking about that, working backwards, you know, do those other positions support what you're doing now? Like you're the, you want to be known as the guy who knows all about the first thing you talked about, right? The absolute expert in that, right? So yeah. looking at your profile, if you want on, on someone else's profile and you wanted to work with the guy, right? Who is the expert in your field. Do you feel those previous job descriptions or previous positions you had support that new position you're in now? Well, probably one, one of the two. So I have yeah, to exactly. The Hertz one, probably get rid of the other yeah. one. I'll probably keep, right? Yeah. Because you, once again, want to be known as the absolute expert in your field, right? Yeah. Yeah. So get rid of the other one. Also, if you want to pop in your uh, LinkedIn profile in the chat box, I'll go to it for a second. Give you a couple quick pointers you want right now. Okay. So just, just top shoe. Yeah. You want me to go to your profile on LinkedIn yeah, sure, for a sure. second? Sure, sure. sure. Thank yeah, you, just top, you toss, toss it into uh, your uh, the chat box on LinkedIn or the chat box here. Sure. Let me just in a second. Yeah, you and can, well, once we go to go through the profile right also. Now. Carlos A. Uh, space Dominguez. Dominguez would be. Uh, the one who say extra ball. It's more, 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 more down. More, yeah, it's trouble. One more, yeah, yeah. thank you. Okay. okay, great. So, you have a profile headshot, you're kind of smiling, right? That's pretty good. I might make it a little closer, so just do a zoom, just a little zoom in because it's a little kind of hard to see you still, yeah. Okay, the picture. You definitely want to change your, your cover banner though, right? So yeah. this company over here, company over here, and the spinning wheel, learn more, right? That's another thing I find also is that you have your personal profile on LinkedIn, your company page, and and you know, then the website here. So you know. You know, why wouldn't you put, put something on here from the company page or the, the website here, right? Create a banner right from here. Yeah. That has, you know, similar things. So people, people go to your profile on LinkedIn, they go to the company page, they go to the website, they go, oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense now, right? So, so, so important. I see this on a regular basis. People's, uh, you know, uh, profiles have nothing to do with their company pages, and that's the, the company they work for. So, you know, how does a top of a building <laughs> have to do with this company over here? Yeah. Right? Nothing at all, right? Yeah. So also, you know, country manager, business development, commercial director, marketing sales. This has not only pharmaceutical, medical devices, maybe, but why should people work with you? Like what magic do you bring to the, the uh, equation that you know you know, I've been in service and sales for 25 years. I know how to take care of my clients, right? What do you have people saying to you on a regular basis? They like working with you. And if you don't know, ask people. Go to your yeah. clients and say, hey, listen, I'm doing a beef up my LinkedIn profile. Can you give me some hints and pointers? Why do you like working with me? What do I bring yeah. to the table that you, that, you, that, you know, other people don't? Yeah, that's pretty simple. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So very, very important. And then your about section. Once again, this is all features. What are the benefits working with you? Okay. Uh, do you have any recommendations at all? Yeah. I have. Yeah, four recommendations. Last one was from 2020. Yeah. So, you know, very, very important. You're always asking for recommendations for people. Very, very important. Thank you.
Brian? Okay. Anybody else have any questions for myself or Alejandro? You have a profile audit very quickly, Carlos. <laughs> yeah, you go the audit, quick profile yeah. audit. It's but a yeah. elevator speech profile. Yeah, audit. exactly. So, you know, once again, uh, you should take advantage of that 149 so I can redo your profile for you and make it look really professional. Thank you. Anybody else have questions at all? About, about overall marketing, about how to increase your, your numbers, about Alejandro's program or my program? Anybody else want to go? I mean, you go over their profile with them for a second. Anybody? Anybody? Okay. Well, fantastic. Then we did a, we did a better job. Than I thought we did. Great. <laughs> yeah. So I'll send you guys a a, a um, uh, little email afterwards telling you about our, our offers again, and this yeah, replay will be on the uh, uh, the event page in about an hour after I finish doing my magic to it and rendering properly so it'll be right here in the actual uh, page as a post and thank you <laughs> right Alejandro yeah thank you from both of us thank you guys buddy, buddy, buddy. that's all folks thanks thanks right bye-bye okay bye -bye. thank you bye-bye